Hello and welcome back. My name is Amir and this is project Euler series puzzle number 38 I believe. Yes, so let's go and see what we are facing. Take the number 192 and multiply it by each of the 1, 2 and 3. So we would get to these numbers. And by concatenating these numbers, we would get to this number and we will call this number the concatenated product of 192 which is our main number and these three digits okay now the same can be achieved by starting with 9 yes and going from 1 to 5 so we have 9 then 18 27 36 and 45 and if we put them together we would get to this number crew so this is a um, concatenated product of 9 this number and 1 to 5 these numbers what is the largest 1 1 to n pan digital 9 digit number like this that can be formed as the concatenated product of an integer 1 to n where n is bigger than 1 so basically n goes from 2 to 9 because we need to have a 9 digit number so n goes uh, from 2 to 9 like so then we need to for each number find the biggest uh, pan digital that it can produce so we will have one for loop for the n and two other for loops so it will be three different loops inside each other the first one is going from two to nine the second one should go from uh, we are counting from one so should go from one so if this is three this should go up to three thousand right because three times three thousand will be nine thousand and we need to we don't want to go past that so our number will not be like ten thousand will be ten digit number so if it this one is three so if n is three we need to go from uh, let's say i goes from uh, i goes from one to 3000 and there is another one j and that is going from uh, 1 basically to uh, 3 and we are multiplying these and put them beside each other so 1 times 1 is 1 then we have 1 times 2 is 2 then 1 times 3 is 3 1 times 4 and we don't have 4 so 1 times 3 we get to this number this is not a pan digit so we would go to 2 here and then we say 2 then 2 times 1 is uh, 2 times 3 is 4 and 2 times 3 is 6 this is not a pan digit and we would go up to for example uh, 3000 we have 3000 times 1 3000 3 times 2 is 6000 3 times what 3 is 9000 and this is not a pan digit number so this is the way that we should do it and uh, this is 1 to 3000 is like the 10 to the power of uh, 3 if n is 2 then it should go to the power of 5 to make 5 digit numbers so this is 10 to the power of 9 divided by n let's uh, write the code it might get more clearer after that I start with maximum of minus 1 and it will uh, grow as we find the pan digit number I should go from 1 as we discussed until the power of 10 
9 uh, divided by n. We need to define a string and we will add to this string as we go on. So this is our for loop and our string as you have guessed is this. So we multiply i and j and add it to this string. And I defined it as a string here so that it doesn't get added. It's just been concatenated to the end of the string. So this is our for loop. And if this for loop is done, this is not going from 0. This goes from 1 to n. And it can be n as well. So if this is this for is done, then I have my string. And I need to check it if it's pan digital or not. So like so and uh, this is about this. this we should be done with the main for loop which is contains two more for loops inside the only thing is I need to write this uh, is pan digit function This should be the correct way to do it. Let's go and check. And I need to log it, of course. Yes, this is the correct answer. Thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful. The code is as always in my GitHub channel and uh, see you in the next video.